Good morning, everybody. Excuse how rough I look right now. Let me get a little dice here, right? What's up, guys? Good morning. Uh, as you just saw, I was 91.6 kilos. It's the lightest I've ever been. I'm feeling good. I'm definitely, definitely getting leaner. Um, today, guys, I'm going to talk to you about supplements. I'm going to talk to you about supplements and I'm also going to talk to you about looking after your body. Looking after your body is one of the most important things to do. It's even more important when you're in a deficit and really struggling to keep your own body weight. This is when you need to take care of your body the most. First things first, it's EU referendum day. I'm going to go vote. I'm going to take you guys along with me. Dogs. So I have never actually voted for anything. Um, I don't even. I think the age is 18. God, I'm very, very not clued up on voting ages. I think I've been able to vote for the last five years. So maybe one election. I've just never voted because I've never really been interested in politics. I know people probably get pissed off of that and say, "Oh, why aren't you interested in the future of your of your country and all this shite?" To be honest. All politics are bullshit in my opinion. There's horrible points to all of them. There's good points to all of them. I'm never gonna be happy with whatever's chosen, so I just let other people do it. For me, I really don't see the direct effects of it. I know that might be ignorant of me, but it just that's just the way it is for me. But obviously, EU, staying remain, vote leave. I'll just give you my side of the story. Um it's not the right side, it's not the wrong side, it's just my side of the story. I'm actually voting Remain, um, as I'm sure a lot of people are. I'm sure a lot of people are voting Leave as well, but I'm actually voting Remain. My personal reasons, um, business. Um, I want to be able to, still be able to uh, do business across borders, um, especially with a few more company ideas I've got with my friends. Um, we're going to start taking things into Europe very, very soon. Um, also traveling so I don't want to have to get visas everywhere I want to be able to have that freedom of travel um, and for me I don't know how this will sound to you guys but for me I wish I wasn't even voting to leave the EU I wish there wasn't an EU I wish there wasn't an American I wish there wasn't a South America I wish there was just the world I wish that everyone was together and that together more can be achieved because for me, that's just the way it's always worked. It's the one thing my dad always taught me. It's the one thing that being in a team always taught me is that you can't just rely on one person. Um, I'm not too bothered about the immigrants because for me, like they're immigrating for a reason because we're a very, very good country. Um, and also, you know, a lot of people are immigrating because because they're running away from war. And, and for me, that's the hard part is that people can just be like, oh, let's leave these people out. They can't come in here. We need to control our borders. And for me, the world's the world. Everyone should be able to go everywhere. I don't know what makes us so special that we get to have this country and, you know, the guys who were born in Syria and, and Libya and places that where they were are completely war stricken and have to just deal with it. Like, you know, who's, who, who is it, who is it to decide that? And I feel like that they should all, you know, have a place where it's safe and here it's safe. So. 
I don't know why they can't have a place. I know it's not as simple as that. I do realise and I appreciate that it's not as simple as that. But for me, that's just my uh, my train of thought. I'm not going to bore you too much of it. I hope you guys voted nevertheless. If it was vote leave, vote, vote remain. Just make sure you get your voice heard. Um, or, you know, at least contribute to your voice being heard. I'm on the way to the chiropractor now, guys. Um, very, very good friend of mine. Uh, you might have, if you follow me on social media, you might have seen pictures of him before. Ed back in line gloss. I'll put his details on the screen right now. He's going to fix me up. I've had some back pain. I've had some neck pain. And he's going to keep me in line. And, and hopefully he's going to explain to you why it's very, very good to keep yourself in check. Especially when you're in a deficit. So what's mainly, what's mainly uh, struggling with the back? Yeah, I know about it. Yeah, your pelvis is tilted forwards. It's fucking So right in the back, right in the lower portion there. Yeah. And I'm back. Sorry about uh, about not getting Ed to talk on camera. My battery actually just ran out. As stupid as it was, I left my battery in the car, but I couldn't find it. And blah, blah, blah. anyway, I found it. Um, so that was me, obviously getting a chiropractor. Um, it's very, 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 very beneficial for you to go see chiropractors, to go see physios. Um, no, not necessarily every single week, but. Maybe once a month, maybe once every other month. If you're less serious, you know, maybe twice, three times a year if you're very, very not serious at all. When you're in a deficit, guys, your body needs as much good love and care as you can give it. Um, whether that's supplementing it right, whether that's, um, you know, getting these physio appointments, getting these chiropractors to make sure that your spine's in line, make sure your neck's in line, make sure that everything's is balanced and even, especially when you're in a deficit, guys. I can't stress this enough if you're in a deficit guys you're not eating enough food to even maintain your own body weight so when it comes to injuries when it comes to um, prehab which is obviously preventing injuries and when it comes to rehab you have to do it properly you've already got a big amount of stress on your body you know you're in a deficit you're doing cardio you're increasing your workload and all this kind of stuff so if you add more stress by you know not taking care of your body not supplementing right not eating the right foods that's when you're really, really gonna suffer, guys. So I put in all of these processes into place to make sure that that doesn't happen. I'm just gonna go do my cardio. I've got 30 minutes of cardio. Today is my rest day. Um, I'll see you guys at home after cardio to talk about supplements. <laughs> I know I always clap my hands before I start. That's just my thing. Get over it. <laughs> Let's talk supplements, guys. So these, this is the entirety of my supplement range. Um, it has grown over the weeks um, as I've done more and more research into these different things. And I'm really starting to notice the benefit of these things. Um, so I'm just gonna take you through each one of these things. I'm gonna tell you why I take it. I'm gonna tell you how I take it. And I'm gonna tell you exactly the reasons why we do this shit. So first of all, we're gonna start with just general whey protein. So um, I've just recently bought this golden syrup flavor whey protein. Um, I've never tried it before. You know, in fact, I haven't had protein powder. Okay, I've had a little bit of protein powder just for like egg whites, but I haven't had a direct protein powder for months and months and months. I've always just eaten my source of protein, but now I'm getting excited with a few lists of recipes, dieting kicks in, and this is where flavored proteins really come in. Things like flavored pancakes, things like that. 
not a necessity at all. Um, I do hit my protein every single day fairly, fairly easily without protein, but this is just for recipes, that's it. No other reason, I don't take it post-workout straight away, I don't do anything like that, I don't have one on waking, I don't wake up at 4 a.m. and have a protein shake either. Um, so that's protein, you don't need it, only have this. If you don't eat enough protein in your diet, um, and you just need that extra boost of protein, maybe when you're cutting, maybe not. Vitamin D3, guys. So vitamin D3 is a very, very good supplement. Um, it's great for your skin. Um, it's great if you live in England because there is no sun, therefore you can't absorb any kind of D3 whatsoever. D3 is also great for healthy bones, good teeth. Um, it's very, very good for bone health. Um, so that's another reason why I take it. It really helps with calcium absorption. Um, whether that really makes a difference, I'm not entirely sure, but the science shows, research has showed that that's what happens. Um, it's also said to kind of protect against diabetes and multiple sclerosis. Again, I, you know, don't quote me on it, it's just what research shows. There's probably research that says the opposite, but since I've been taking it, I do feel great. And when I don't take it, often, I, I don't know whether it's placebo, but sometimes I feel like it might affect me. I'm not sure. Vitamin D3. Next up guys, vitamin B. So originally I bought this when I went vegan for a while. I did vegan for about three months, completely vegan. Um, and you get a lot of B vitamins from your meats. So this was initially a replacement. Um, I know that B12 and B6 really does help with fatigue and tiredness and it may be your lethargic and things like that. And I really, this I really do notice a difference with. So sometimes I get a bit tired and lethargic, but it's because I haven't had my B, B vitamins for a couple of days. So when I do end up taking them, I do feel better. Maybe that's a placebo, maybe the research is the opposite. It's just how I feel personally. These nutrients really help convert the food into fuel. Um, so I guess that's what, where the energy comes in. So this just help you convert all that food that you eat into fuel. These vitamins would recommend. Creatine. Now creatine is a very, very good one. Um, creatine really does increase kind of cell volume uh, as such that more water gets taken into the, um, into the muscles. Creating a bigger look, a bit fuller, maybe hold a little bit of water, but it's not really a problem at this point for me. Um, this acts as another energy source, as an extra energy source. So we actually use our creatine phosphate system as energy in power movements, in, 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 in exercises lasting longer than 15 seconds to about 45 seconds. We use, we use creatine phosphate. So if you have more creatine in your body, um, you increase that creatine in your body. You, you essentially have a longer period of time that you can train for at a higher intensity. So creatine, I would highly recommend. There, is, This is probably one of the only, only um, products that I have right here that is researched countless times and most of it, if not all of it, says that it works. So if there's anything that you do take from this, I would say creatine. Five grams a day, don't worry about loading it, don't worry about you know having to load up on it 20 grams a day, just five grams a day, every single day, your body will keep up with it and find homeostasis, finding a nice balance so you won't even hold water eventually. Moving on guys, glucosamine sulfate. Now, since I'm in a deficit, uh, my body's not recovering as well. My joints, my tendons, my ligaments, they're not really recovering as well. I've had sore knees for a while. Um, so I kind of looked a little bit into what can I do to help with my, um, with my joint pain, and this came up, glucosamine sulfate. So glu glucosamine sulfate is actually produced by the body. What it does is, um, it's basically a chemical that helps with the building of ligaments, tendons, and um, you know cartilage and things like that. So it's actually the key, well, one of the key ingredients, not the only one, one of the key ingredients that, um, that just helps with that joint repair, that cartilage repair. I've been taking this for about a week now, so it's hard to say whether I notice a difference, but I will let you guys know. So glucosamine sulfate, great for joints, apparently. We'll see. I'm sure research shows both ways, again, like all of these products. Next up, we'll do this one last, uh, omegas. So you guys probably know about omegas. Um, I don't eat too much fish just to keep my calories down. I do eat fish, don't get me wrong, I probably eat fish three times a week instead of you know every single day. So the days that I don't actually eat fish, I'll have two omegas and the days that, no, I'll have three omegas and the days that I do have, that I do have fish, I'll just have one. Just first thing in the morning, um, just to kind of get those omegas up. Very, very healthy fats, very, very essential fats. So please make sure if you don't eat fish that you do supplement with omega. Um, if you eat lots of fish, just supplement less, if not at all. Finally, ZMA, zinc magnesium. Um, this is supposed to be a key ingredient in testosterone. Um, it keeps your cortisol levels lower at night, um, promoting a healthy sleep, promoting a deeper sleep. So 
Um, again, I've been taking this for about three weeks. I would say that my dreams have got intense. I would say that my testosterone has been kept very, very level. I'm still, um, I'm gonna say it, I'm still horny. I'm still, uh, I'm still, you know, I'm still feeling good. I'm still feel great. I'm still in very, very good spirits every single day. Um, don't know whether it's helped too much, but I know that I've been sleeping better because of this. As for these guys, I, it doesn't matter where you take this, doesn't matter at all. I take this first thing in the morning, D3 first thing in the morning, just to, just to have an empty stomach, it absorbs straight into the body. Um, again with the B12, I have this first thing in the morning with the creatine, first thing in the morning. Glucosamine and the omegas, first thing in the morning. Empty stomach, just have that and I cook my breakfast and I eat it, it's no problem for me. Creatine, it does not matter when you take it, just take it during the day, that'll just keep your levels nice and high. ZMA, first thing, first thing, last thing before you go to bed, just pop three of these, um, kind of half an hour, 45 minutes before you go to bed, um, and that should be all right for you. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this gives you a good insight into what supplements I take, what it is the insight into what I take. This is everything that I take. If you guys have any supplement recommendations for cutting, please put them down below. Please, you know, correct me if any of my information's wrong. Um, this is what this is about guys, you know, I want people to come to these videos, look in the comment section and say, oh, I can take that as well, oh, I can do that as well, you know, that's what it's about guys, being a community, expanding the channel, expanding that community for the channel guys. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, really, really helps out the channel, every time I get a like and it gets above like a certain number, my views go up, my views go up, you know, so more people get to see the videos, it's good for me, uh, and hopefully it's good for you guys, it means I can make more content. Um, Peace everybody, thank you guys for watching, I really really do appreciate it, see you guys in the next one.